SpaceX has just revealed a new variant of its cutting Raptor engines, which could open the door to even larger rockets in the future. This new engine, dubbed the Raptor Vive 3, is said to be the most powerful rocket engine ever constructed. Stay tuned as we discuss what makes this new engine so powerful and how SpaceX plans to make it even better. Is the Raptor 3 going to be ready in time for the Starship's next test flight? There are over 125 kinds of rocket engines made worldwide, but they all pale in comparison to the incredible Raptor 3 engine. SpaceX's latest achievement, the Raptor 3 engine, possesses mind-boggling power. This exceptional masterpiece has shattered global records with its outstanding performance and unmatched capabilities. By propelling SpaceX to unprecedented heights, the Raptor 3 engine solidifies the company's pioneering status in the space industry and completely transforms the realm of space exploration. During a recent test, SpaceX treated the world to a breathtaking display of its newest engine's capabilities. The test showcased the engine's remarkable strength and stunning brightness as it came to life, leaving onlookers in awe of its power. It signifies a significant leap in performance and pushes the boundaries of what is possible in space travel. The Raptor 3 engine generates an astonishing thrust force of around 269 tons and operates at a chamber pressure of 350 bars. The nearest comparable engine to the Raptor, which also utilizes a phased combustion cycle with methane and oxygen is Blue Origin's B4. However, it is projected to produce approximately 245 tons of thrust, making the Raptor 3 even more impressive. This extraordinary third generation of the engine surpasses the capabilities of conventional rocket engines, such as the RS-25's 190 tons of thrust and the RD-180's two combustion chambers. What's more, the Raptor 3 engine outshines its predecessor, the Raptor 2, by an astounding 18%. SpaceX's decision to push the limit of Raptor 3 during a test led to a groundbreaking achievement of a chamber pressure of 350 bars, surpassing all other active rocket engines. The previous record for chamber pressure was held by the Rocketdyne F-1, which propelled the iconic Saturn V rockets during the historic moon missions. In contrast, the RD-180 engine used in the Atlas V rocket operates at a modest 70 bars, with a respectable chamber pressure of 267 bars. Moving forward in the timeline, we come across the RS-25 engine, which reaches only 206 bars. It remains uncertain whether the current version of the Raptor is the final one or if it will be used in the second Starship test launch. However, the possibilities are endless because SpaceX faces fewer constraints particularly in the realm of rocket physics, where even the slightest increase in thrust matters. Chamber pressure serves as the foundation for developing a powerful engine. As the pressure within the combustion chamber rises, the propellants experience a more forceful expulsion, resulting in greater velocity as they exit the engine's nozzle, as explained by Musk. Newton's third equation of motion states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. In the context of rocket engines, this means that the forceful expulsion of propellants creates the necessary push to propel the rocket forward. With increased power, rockets can carry larger payloads, achieve higher velocities, and undertake more ambitious space missions. Higher chamber pressure leads to greater thrust output, resulting in a higher thrust-to-weight ratio. This ratio is crucial because it indicates the amount of force the engine can generate relative to its weight. In addition, chamber pressure plays a crucial role in the design flexibility of rocket engines. Higher pressures provide engineers with the ability to achieve desired performance characteristics while maintaining compact and lightweight engine designs. This flexibility is a essential for constructing advanced launch vehicles capable of fulfilling various mission objectives, including crewed missions, deep space exploration, and satellite deployments. The Raptor engine has undergone continuous advancements since its initial introduction in 2016. With each iteration, it has become more powerful and efficient. The Raptor 1 engine served as a testing ground for innovative concepts for SpaceX, and the successful test firings marked a significant milestone in the progress of rocket engine technology. In 2020, SpaceX introduced the Raptor 2 engine, boasting increased thrust and chamber pressure, which resulted in enhanced efficiency. The Raptor 3 engine has captured significant attention and anticipation as it currently represents the pinnacle of engine development. This latest iteration marks a substantial advancement, however. SpaceX is determined to achieve even higher levels of thrust and reliability. Many speculate that the future of Raptor engine iterations is likely to spark speculation, particularly regarding whether Raptor 3 is a 
temporary replacement for Raptor 2. While we don't have detailed information on SpaceX's long-term plans, it is reasonable to assume that Raptor 3 serves as a transitional phase. During this phase, SpaceX can gather valuable data and insights while simultaneously working on further refinements of the engine. SpaceX's approach to rapid iteration and continuous improvement drives them to introduce intermediate versions of their engines before reaching a final optimized design. This iterative process allows them to test new concepts, identify areas for enhancement, and refine their engines for optimal performance. However, the path to innovation is not without its challenges. The development of the Raptor engine has faced difficulties and experienced engine failures. Despite these setbacks, SpaceX recognizes that engine testing is a complex and rigorous procedure, and it is not uncommon for engines to fail either accidentally or deliberately during testing. Nevertheless, the company has remained steadfast in its commitment to developing the engine. In fact, they have diligently addressed crucial aspects of engine design to ensure that the Raptor can withstand even the harshest conditions of space travel through extensive research and development efforts. The company has made significant advancements in identifying inter integrated advanced materials that can withstand the demanding conditions of space. These materials contribute to the engine's robustness and structural integrity, enabling it to perform optimally even under extreme stress and pressure. Simplicity in design also plays a crucial role in enhancing reliability. The philosophy adopted by SpaceX revolves around refining and simplifying the Raptor engine. This involves reducing the complexity of its components and streamlining manufacturing processes. By removing and integrating secondary structures, particularly smaller intricate parts, the engine can be protected locally, eliminating the need for engine heat shields. Elon Musk responded to a journalist by mentioning that Raptor 3 offers the option to remove the engine's heat shield, resulting in a lighter engine that performs better than the Raptor 2 engine. If future tests prove successful, the extraordinary power of the Raptor 3 engines could pave the way for SpaceX to construct even larger rockets. The company's current largest vehicle, the Starship is designed to launch 100 tons into orbit on a fully reusable basis. However, Elon Musk envisions an even more massive successor, planned to be four to eight times larger. Musk recently tweeted that Starship version 2.0 will have a diameter of 18 meters instead of the current 9 meters. This would result in a four-fold increase in the cross-sectional area. If the height is also doubled, the volume of the rocket would increase ninefold. Additionally, the engines would likely be upgraded for the ultra-heavy Starship 2.0. With the potential to launch over 1,000 tons per launch, the next generation of rockets from SpaceX would surpass the payload capacity of the Sea Dragon. The Sea Dragon, a conceptualized design study from 1962, was a two-stage sea-launched orbital super-heavy lift launch vehicle. Led by Robert Truax at Aerojet, it would have had a payload capacity of 550 tons. The Sea Dragon was envisioned to be an impressive 150 meters tall and 23 meters meters in diameter. The future rockets from SpaceX would offer a payload capacity twice that of the Sea Dragon, enabling the transportation of even larger payloads and opening up new frontiers for space exploration. This signifies a significant leap in launch capabilities and showcases the rapid progress being made in the field of space technology. SpaceX is also conducting some valuable research into finding alternative propulsion methods for the future. The company claims to have discovered a groundbreaking method of rocket propulsion that defies traditional physics and they have successfully tested it. This new rocket propulsion system utilizes electrically charged gas and can achieve remarkable speeds of up to 65 kilometers per second, equivalent to around 135,000 miles per hour. The engine itself is constructed using super lightweight carbon fiber fuel tanks along with cold gas thrusters. What sets this propulsion system apart is that it doesn't rely on traditional propellants, meaning it doesn't expel any byproducts into space. Instead, the engine generates thrust by accelerating accelerating superheated plasma using magnetic fields. This unique approach eliminates the emission of fumes that typically occur during combustion, making it an environmentally friendly propulsion system. This type of engine is commonly referred to as an electric thruster, but it operates quite differently from the engines used in SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets. Traditional electric thrusters work by propelling pressurized gas, while SpaceX's electric engine generates a charged plasma that emits ions to generate thrust and propel 
propel a spacecraft forward. According to reports, SpaceX's electric engine shows greater power and capability compared to conventional gridded ion thrusters. This increased power opens up possibilities for manned missions to destinations like Mars and beyond. Furthermore, this electric propulsion system could reduce travel time for cargo in space, as it requires less propellant, which can be expensive to launch into orbit. However, it's important to note that the technology is still undergoing testing, and further development is necessary before it is ready for actual spaceflight. The engine has been submitted for peer review, and experts at NASA see potential in this concept, at least in theory. SpaceX certainly has some lofty plans for the future, but it remains to be seen if any of them come to fruition. What do you think? Will the Raptor 3 be as reliable as its peers, or is it too powerful for its own good? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe for more.